Fucking glasses. Oh. Match Peter. Hi loves, it's Riyadh here. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Happy whatever the fuck you call it because at the end of the day, does it matter? No, it doesn't. A couple of months ago, I did my first ever favourites video and I was not expecting it to get that kind of reaction. You guys absolutely loved it. So I thought, you know what? Perfect time of the year to do another one. I've got loads of shit that I bought recently uh, for this brand new pad of mine. And I want to show you what that stuff is. And what you would have picked up from that title is that it's not just a favourites video. I'm revealing something very exciting. This is Gay Times magazine. Three weeks ago, I did a naked photo shoot for this magazine to promote body positivity and body love and self-love. So there are three naked images of me in this magazine that I'm going to be showing you in a little bit. So hang on for that. I am so nervous. <laughs> My first favourite thing though is for your health and uh, it's called Lionheart by Bear Biology. What is it though? It is a fish oil. So I used to take fish oil when I was a kid. My mum used to force me to have the cod liver oil every morning. It was disgusting, it was horrible. Um, and kind of since then I, I stopped because I didn't like it and I didn't really know what the benefits were. And then I was working for a very well-known media organization and I had to interview a woman called Melanie Lawson who is the owner and founder of Bear Biology. She just started the company by herself. And the reason I love her is because she is the opposite of a liar. I hate when people try and sell me something and take my money and they lie to me. I learned all about her story and what exactly sets this fish oil apart from all the rest. Now I'm not working with Melanie, she hasn't sponsored this at all, I just absolutely am in love with this product because it's so truthful and it actually works. Um, are you ready for a science breakdown? Because I'm about to give it to you. First things first, why are people so crazy about fish oil? Well, it's down to one specific ingredient and that is omega-3, we've all heard of it but why is it beneficial? Why do we need it? Omega-3 comes in two separate forms. It's EPA and DHA. They are fatty acids that essentially make up the brain. The brain is mainly made up of fat. So taking high levels of omega-3 can help with depression, anxiety. It helps with the synapses, so a communication between the left and the right side of the brain. There are 14,000 clinical trials being done on omega-3 and fish oils and its benefits. Some have found that it's anti-inflammatory. So for me, I've got, you know, IBS. I suffer from bloating and, and my lactose intolerance. This has helped my stomach just relax and come back, which is amazing. I've got more energy, my skin is brighter and more like soft and supple, but why am I so in love with this one and do I take this one over all of the hundreds of others that exist? Well, this you get from one serving 3,000 milligrams, 3,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. Now that's in comparison to one of the biggest and most well-known fish oil brands. Do you know how much EPA and DHA they give you? 300 milligrams. This is literally 10 times the strength. So I instantly got pretty angry at the other companies for basically selling me something that can't do anything because there's not enough of the active special ingredients in it. Also, most fish oils are made from salmon and tuna, which have a lot of mercury in them and other toxins. This is made from uh, mackerel, anchovies, and something else. They're smaller fish, they don't eat other fish, they've got a shorter lifespan, which means that it's clean and you're not getting any toxins into your body. I like it in liquid form. So each morning, I just take a little teaspoonful like that. And because it's so refined and fresh, there's no like nasty flavor. It just actually tastes a bit lemony, it's citrusy. And then you're sorted for the day. You can't get it in every shop though. I think um, Whole Foods and some of the other um, health food suppliers uh, have bare biology and I'll have some of the details down below for that. I have this new house, this new room, but it's all very empty and bare and dead. So I decided, why not spruce it up with a bit of life? Okay, it doesn't look alive now, but there, there's an aloe vera plant about to grow from this little box thing. Oh shit, oh no! <gasps> Hang on. Oh shit. If I ruin that, I am gonna cry. Oh God, if the seed came out. Oh! Anyway, if it grows, I'll, I'll, I'll update you. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> I think I have a thing for glass domes, actually. What does that mean? Is it phallic? I don't know. About three months ago, I mentioned this bad boy, you might remember, it's the Dazzle Pro electric toothbrush, and I said for anyone who went and got it to send me your tweets, your Instagrams, your reviews, you guys absolutely loved it. I'm so happy you do, and I'm so happy that um, you've got healthy white teeth now. My mom and dad also have this as well. I can't tell you how much I am in love with this. They are sponsoring this video, but as I do with everything I talk about, I won't talk about it in a video unless I've tried it and I've been a guinea pig for you and I've made sure 
it's as amazing as I'm saying it is. So if you haven't seen already, it's obviously an electric toothbrush. It's got three settings. So this is called Dazzle. Then you hear that? That's Pulse. And that's the standard clean. Ooh. It comes in this little travel case where I've got a spare brush head there. I haven't used that one yet because the brush head lasts for ages. And it basically just goes in there like that. This goes there like that. You close it, it charges from the wall or from your laptop if you're traveling. And then when it's closed, you've got a UV light in there that sanitizes both brush heads while you're not using it. I mean, it's kind of amazing. Now, one question or criticism I got from people who watched the last video is, you know, if it's pulsating at 40,000 times per minute, is that not gonna damage your teeth? Is that not gonna damage your gums? And this is my chance to kind of give you the reasoning behind why it won't. The pulsating action of it is fast, but super gentle. And that is so much more beneficial to your teeth, your mouth, your gums, your oral, oral health than having a normal manual brush that you're literally scraping across your teeth and gums less times but in a heavier motion. When I'm using this, I don't go like this at all. I glide it over the teeth. I let the brush do the work. Just gently back and forth, back and forth. There's never any of that. So you kind of have to learn again to, to not do it that way because it's the way you've done it for your entire life. My mates, even my flatmate said to me the other week, like, well, how do you get your teeth white? Are you using, you know, the strips, the whitening strips? I do not use any of that. All I do with my teeth is brush twice a day with that and um, coconut oil about once or twice a week. Those are my two tricks, that's it. If you're in the States, if you order it right now, you probably will get it before Christmas, but if not, it will come straight after. 70% um, discount for you, so it was $250. Um, through haggling with the guys of Vanity Planet, I've gotten it down for you, 62.50. If you do want to try it out, of course, no pressure at all. The link is down below and the uh, promo code to get that 70% off is Irish Tooth. Okay, you've been waiting long enough. Are you ready for this? As you probably know, I'm filming a BBC3 documentary series about all sorts of LGBTQ issues that exist here in the UK, from racism in the community, to homelessness, to the word queer, what it means, one specifically on body image, body shaming, and femme shaming. And we thought, as a crew, well, what's a better way to explore the issues of body image than for me, the presenter, the host of the show, to actually strip all on camera in front of a crew of about 10 people and just show the world. Now, I've never really spoken about it on camera, but I have body image issues and I have for a very, very, very long time, over 10 years, kind of since puberty, I started to notice things about my body that I really didn't like. That is, you know, like a little pooch that I have here on the front and that I, I'm not very comfortable with. I just feel like when I look down, I don't like the look of it. And um, I've got stretch marks on the side of my ass from a growth spurt I had in my teenage years. I've got a vargas vein on this ass cheek. Um, and you know, just this comparing, contrasting of your body to other people's all the time when you really don't have to. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh my God. There it is there. Can you see that? So I am holding it, I'm cupping it. Riyadh explains it all. The six page spread. This is the next one. This is my favorite one. That's a nice angle, isn't it? It's insane. I Look, it's, it's favorable lighting. I got a spray tan the night before. I'm really happy with it. Oh, and then this is the last one on a chair, using my foot and my leg to covertly cover my special bits. That's the feature. I think it's, it, it's a really great read because hopefully it'll give you some insight into the issues that exist in the community and, and how you can kind of be more at one with your body. I know after doing this, I, I've gained so much confidence in, in my own appearance. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, the Gay Times Magazine hard copy is available now um, in London. It's going to be available nationwide in the next couple of days and it's available worldwide online um, and I'm going to have the link for that down below as well if you want to ch ch check it out. So I've been going to the gym more and more lately because I'm off to Mexico with my family in the next couple of weeks straight after Christmas. I cannot wait and I want to look nice when I'm on the beach. But um, because of my dairy intolerance, I can't have that normal stuff, that whey protein that everyone seems to take because that's a byproduct of milk and I will be shitting on the walls if I take that. So this has been my protein savior for after workouts. It's absolutely natural, which you know I love. Um, and it's got a tons of superfood. It's got matcha tea, which gives you a real kick um, and a lot of energy. It's made of sweet potato, pumpkin, quinoa, yerba mate, I don't know what that is, flaxseed, vegan coconut oil, just really, really great fiber filled, nutrient filled ingredients and a shit ton of protein. And it tastes delicious. 
this is the one you want to go for. I'm now 25 years old and I've realised that no, I am not timeless, I am not ageless, things are starting to change and I'm, I'm okay with that, I am okay with it, but I want to start looking after my skin properly at this age so that when I am 40, 50, 60, you know, I'm looking okay. So I did a bunch of research and I came across this guy. It's um, Dr. Zen Obagi. This is medical grade stuff. And it's basically a, a nightly skincare lotion or serum that I put on. And like with everything I do, I don't buy something because it's got glitzy marketing or it's got a pretty case or anything like that. I want to know the real science. Does it work? Just like the fish oil, tell me why it works and I'll figure out myself if I believe you or not. Once you hit your mid-twenties, the elastin and collagen in your skin just stops being produced. It just halts. And that's why people start to see the, their skin go a bit dull, it loses that, that sort of firmness and that plumpness and it starts to go a little bit downwards, which is a natural process and some people like to leave it that way and that's fine. I do not. <laughs> and the reason why this comes into the picture then is because it's full of a very, very concentrated vitamin A, active vitamin A, or what they call retinoic acid. It's all very complicated, but basically when you put active vitamin A directly on the skin, you're not eating it because when you eat it, it goes to your organs, not the skin. When you put it directly onto the skin, it absorbs right down into the deeper layers of skin. And those cells that have gone to sleep, elastin and collagen, it wakes them up and it starts producing it again. So I've been using this now for about four or five months and I have noticed my skin is it's smoother on the outside but it's also feeling a bit tighter and the tone of the skin it is more even so it's you know got less like red I used to have like a lot of red patches around here and here and they've sort of faded away I just know it works because it's science yo it's science you can't buy it in a normal place so you have to go to um, a skincare expert but just type it in online and you'll find your local outlet that, that supplies it. My next favorite thing is something that I kind of need to remove you from this tripod to show you. So come with me. It's this. Look at it. It's my new Ikea mirror. I'm in love with it. I look at see, I'm barefoot. I'm barefoot when I film most of my videos. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in love with this. So if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you're gonna see a shit ton of selfies being taken in this thing from now on. It's about two foot taller than I am. I mean, there's absolutely no need for it, but hey. And finally, probably my most treasured possession to date. It is this, Titanic, the tragedy that shook the world. If you know me, you know I am obsessed with the history, the story of Titanic, the film, of course, all of that. This book is incredible. It's got the entire deck plan of the ship from top to bottom. Historic photographs of it sailing off into the Atlantic. There it is under the ocean. So if you didn't know, oh, here's a bit of history. So this is Titanic and this is the Olympic. Sister ships that were almost identical, built at the same time. Bet you didn't know that. I have the book leaning up, up against um, the area where I get ready every morning because I'm a glam bitch. And then once a day, like a historic book, I change the page, just once a day. I had a guy over for a date the other night. I cooked him dinner. And he saw it and he was like, what's that? I was like, oh, well I have this process where every day, and he was like, freaked the fuck out. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is me, take it or leave it. I'm obsessed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you the most beautiful Christmas, whether you're with family, with friends, with your lover, with your dog, whoever you're with, just embrace them, hug them and share the love. If you do want to see more of my videos, I, I really pissed off at YouTube. They're not putting my videos into your feeds, into suggested videos or into your sub box. The one way you can make sure you catch my videos is by if you go down below, you should see a little bell beside the subscribe button. If you click on that bell, then you can tell uh, YouTube to give you a notification every time I upload one of these. Simple. I'll chat to you in a couple of days, my loves. Have a great one. And one last thing, guys, if you didn't see the charity Christmas single that I'm part of, Christmas Without You, the link to download and watch it is down below. Bye.